What's good, you guys? This is your girl, Miss Anaya Bay. I'm standing next to former lead rapper of the Philadelphia group, Ram Scott, Ram Squad. We're here walking the streets of North Philadelphia. You can hear the train going by. We're raw in the street. So let us know a little bit about what's going on and on. Basically, um, been working very hard, man. Um, been, been, uh, actually, I moved. I got out of prison in 05. Okay. Okay. And I moved to Atlanta, Georgia, mm -hmm. where I started getting into other businesses and different stuff like that. Because I, to me, really, after my situation, it was like music really was dead to me. Okay. So I really started getting into a lot of other stuff, investing my money into properties and a couple stores. I even invested in to a couple of restaurants here in Philly, but I don't want to name them because okay. then people might not eat at my spots no more. Oh man. You know? But, we um, gotta get our grub on though. Oh, definitely. You're welcome. <laughs> You're always welcome. Y'all are welcome, as a matter yes. of fact. Um, I just been basically. I had to go get me together. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to have you some you Tom, and then I, 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 I got a new friend in my life, and, and his name is Jesus. You know awesome. what I'm saying? So it's like then I got God in my life, and now it's like it's, it's just a different journey. Absolutely, and I know that you've been through an incarceration indictment, right? And right. um. Sadly enough, one of you know your closest friends, colleagues, um, supposedly snitched on you. Right, 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 right. How does that make you feel? Like, is that a lot that's going on in your life that just is that what actually pressured you to go into finding Jesus? Um, yes, 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 and yeah, and that that that'll be a good way of putting it. I mean, how I feel about that situation, baby. I've been living that since. 2003 January I mean uh, December 23rd 2003 it really it really destroyed the foundation that we had as as Ram Squad we we were not a rap group we were family like we come up together we brought a pack of boxes it's three in a pack you get one I get one he get one mm -hmm. t-shirts hats hoodies we nothing was off limits to us but our baby moms Absolutely. We fucked bitches together, you know what I'm saying? We wrote <laughs> money down together. Everything we did, we did it together. As a family. As and a family. I know you guys um, called yourself a family. The feds called you guys, you know, a drug group. Um, I mean, it's crazy. The whole story behind it is just ridiculous. And he came out actually with an apology video on YouTube. Absolutely, absolutely. Did you see the actual the video? I, I mean, I had to see it. You know what I'm saying? It's like I, I had no other choice to see it because I haven't seen him. Because it's like I wasn't, it was no conversation and no rap would do. And I mean, yes, we were drug dealers. I mean, we got to start from somewhere. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and being a drug dealer and being a dude that was on the street hustling that I learned from guys before me, the Kevin Hawkins, the 50s, you know, the, the, the uh, Sam and Moochies, them type guys, and, and then to the Frank Banks. Yes, we have to start from somewhere to get money. I mean, we come from the hood. I'm a young black male like you or young Hispanics. Mm -hmm. or, or, or you know Puerto Rican or whatever the case is, we come from the hood. So we got to take our money and do something with it. Same as Jay-Z, same as the Kennedy family, same as them families. They start from somewhere and they take it to another level. And that's what we had to do. So did Joey Skinny Marlino, was, was he the one that put you on the map? Um, I mean, he didn't put me on the map. He was a business partner of mine. Joey taught me how to get my neighborhood to back me, how to do right investments, how to use your power wisely. Um, mm -hmm. Nothing I ever did with Joey Molina was illegal, so I can clear the record straight. He never he never gave me a gun, a drug, or nothing. Everybody that was, around that, South Philly knows that he was, you know, the guy over there. You know, he definitely gave back to his community. And it, was that one of the things that he taught you? Yes, yes, ma'am. He taught me. He taught me um, to feed my neighborhood, to feed my people, the turkeys, the the, the bikes on Christmas, the, the giving away vehicles, the giving away the uh, the washing dryers, the giving away the refrigerators. He he taught me that. But a lot of people got the relationship misconstrued. I was gonna help Joey. Okay. See, the whole thing about it is, is I did music and Joey was an investor. Absolutely. And he always also was a friend. So if I if I become Fifty Cent, then he becomes Leo Cohen. You know what I'm saying? If I become, you know, Jay-Z, he becomes uh, 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 Tommy Mottola somebody. So that was that relationship. Po very powerful guy, very handsome guy. And me and him, we, we had a lot of things in common. So do you still affiliate with um, Joey? I haven't spoke to him personally, but I really, I went and spoke with a couple of wags and a few people in his family because I wanted to get that stuff straight. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That I didn't want him to even think. It wasn't a point of people even thinking that I would actually you know, cooperate against this, man. It's just the fact that this is my guy. Okay. This is my guy. Like, that, I'm not a creep. 
So why do you turn around and bite get the hand of somebody who's taking care of you, looked out for you? I'm not that guy. So I really had to, I owed to him an apology and I thought that, you know, I thought that I had to reach out to his people, so I did it. But that was the right thing to do, absolutely. absolutely. So do you um, still, look, well, you obviously don't affiliate with the, um, your past colleague. I mean, I do. I do. I, I feel that, that the guy that actually set me up is in prison right now. So when I when I find that out, I, you know, I came to Philly. You know what I'm saying? And he reached out through the YouTube. I think that was honorable. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas is giving but him a was lot. was it, though? You know what, baby? That takes a lot for a man to get on the camera and say, say that I snitched on you or mm -hmm. I, I messed your life up. There's a lot of guys that's running around in Philadelphia that cooperates every day. Absolutely. But they won't get on no camera and do nothing like that. So I have to give him that much. Mm -hmm. Now, he smacked me. You can't take the smack back, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But as far as the apology, I mean, I have to, I have to give him, I have to give him his. I don't know what the word may be, but I have to say, you know, that, that was that was honorable of him to come out like that. Absolutely. And at the same time, it was a bad situation too. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people run from their bad situations, and I think he was. Um, I think it took him some balls to do that. You know, Absolutely. I never seen no shit like that in my life. I never did. Looking up. Seeing it, I was like, wow, like, this is crazy. And like you said, it does take a man, but, you know, it takes, you know, less of a man to snitch on someone. Like, I, mean, I don't I mean, understand. I'm kind of lost I mean, the whole let, situation. Let me, let me, let me kind of break, <coughs> excuse me, let me break this system down to you, sweetheart. The federal system is a different system than the state. Okay. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get a bad rap because they go into the feds and they may cooperate or they may do stuff with the feds. I'm not saying that it's good. It's bad. But the federal system is so messed up that the feds put you in so many different positions. They want to lock your mom up. They want to take my girl away from me. They want to do all kind of stuff. They put you up against the wall and some people choose to make decisions, okay? Granted, if you choose this life, mm -hmm. then you know them things come with it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to point the finger at this guy for snitching or that guy for snitching. What I'm going to say is you deal with that when you're in that position. You know what I'm saying, sweetheart? And hopefully you don't never have to be in that position or one of your loved ones, but it, that, that federal system is wicked, man. And to clear my situation up just a little bit more, I know, you, mm -hmm. I know you're interested in knowing what Yeah, I mean, the down. people, especially, I'm a Philadelphia native. I followed Ram Squad, the whole, when you guys were in Rap City, I was all for it. The whole movement, you guys did give back to the community. And then I'm hearing now that, you know, you were the important. Right, right, right. You know, so the people, we, we have to know. Right. Well, basically, it's, it's a game of uh, let's put the light on you and let's take it off for this person. Mm -hmm. And that's how the feds play. It's basically when you're a cooperating witness or informant, you're not going to know. Mm -hmm. No one knows. So mm -hmm. for them to label me that, that was game. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm that guy, mm -hmm. then you don't never know that. They, the feds know that's dangerous. They would never put one of their guys out there like that. Absolutely. They, that's dangerous. Now the feds have to actually, when I come into Philly, when I come places, they got to be around. They got to watch and make sure I'm safe because of the things they created. Absolutely. They created them things. Do I have communication with them? No. But well, do you think that um, you're, um, the other guy that was in the group who is incarcerated right now, um, do you think he kind of cleared the air for you? Because he specifically says, on the video that he found out that you weren't the informant. Right, 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 right. You know what? Nothing clears the air, baby. Mm -hmm. It's like, it, it's this life. I, it's just something that I have to deal with. I mean, when, when somebody label you, they label you. You know what I'm saying? Do I care? No, I don't care. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's simply like this. When I got locked up, sweetie, I didn't have no code defendants. Mm -hmm. To this day, I still don't have a code defendant. Mm -hmm. I'm Richard Allen Project. I gave everybody in Richard Allen Project money, coke, whatever. Okay, mm -hmm. I gave everybody, you know, Philly money, coke and whatever. I gave every, every possible, Chester, mm -hmm. Delaware. I mean, like, yeah. I, I was a, a known guy. So, when you say that I'm informing or I'm telling on people, a lot of people need to be in jail. Mm -hmm. And if you do your facts and you understand, nobody, especially nobody from Richard Allen, because the mm -hmm. first place they have to go is to Richard Allen. I can't tell on him across the street. I have mm -hmm. to tell on my own. Exactly. So, uh, th no, I'm, this is how the feds work. Mm -hmm. They're not going to allow you. They want to know what's up with your circle. They want to know what's up with Ramsey. They want to know what's up with everything. And I'm a, I'm a businessman. Of mm -hmm. course I sat down and listened so to them. So when you got caught with, with significant quantities of cocaine. I didn't get caught with no cocaine. Well, you, so you didn't, didn't sell I didn't, to uh, undercover. No, I gave my man some coke because it was Christmas time. I didn't sell nothing. That was the misconception. Oh. What they kept doing was... What's up, Pam? How you feel, man? All right. 
what they, what they was doing, what they was doing was basically um trying to make me a creep. See, here's what the here's what the feds do. If they want to if they want to destroy a person, they put their media person on that person. They put it out there. So we are. I don't sell like drugs like that. I'm the guy who makes sure it happens, and then I have a team of guy who guys who gave it out. Mm -hmm. I, so if, when they say I'm at McDonald's or I'm here, I'm there, why would I be? You think I'm driving around in my brand new cars and with a quarter pound of crack or some coke? No, it don't happen like that. What happened is I give it to you, you sell it to him. Mm -hmm. So my issue was when you sold it to him and he set me up, why aren't you locked up? Mm -hmm. All of us are supposed to be locked up. Yeah, Everybody in Ram Squad is supposed to be locked up, not just Tommy. So it's more than just Bax that was telling. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to just put all the blame.